What's up, guys? It's Timmy back with Buchanan Drafting Solutions at BuchananDrafting.com. And today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about blocks, how to create them, what they're used for, and we'll just go ahead and jump into them. So, a block is just a grouping of elements together that make it easier for you to do your job. And what I mean is like doors, windows, stuff like that. Stuff that you're going to be using a lot in a drawing. You can create it into a block and just insert that block over and over. And it just keeps you from having to draw it or worry about missing something whenever you're selecting it. Whenever to copy it over to where you need it. And there's a couple different ways to make a block. By far the quickest way to make a block is say we've got a little house here you don't need to be there yeah smooth say we want to create this right here as a block the quickest way to do it would be to select all of it Control shift copy select your base point and then control shift V to repaste it as a block and all it is is just copy and paste with while you're holding down shift as well and as you'll see with this one now instead of it being individual lines now you've got all of it together you can double click on it and it brings up your block definition and you can open it in the block editor change whatever you need to and here's a quick little tip for while you're in block editor you can do BS BC and it saves the block and closes the block editor there's a little quick tip on that now whenever you put your block in let's delete that one out <clears throat> say you want to have a little bit more control over it you'll go up here to the insert tab and then go to create block select that name your block and then you'll uh, go to select objects select what you want to be your block right click and with the base point You've got a pretty big decision tomorrow. It's relatively big for the block, but for the whole drawing, it's not really. If you do pick base point, you'll select in somewhere. Uh, you can select wherever you want to, but usually it's going to be on the object. You'll select somewhere on it. You see the X and Y have changed. If you don't pick a base point, it's going to be relative to your origin zero comma zero and that'll throw you for a loop whenever you go to insert the block because then you're going to be inserting from wherever zero comma zero is and it can throw you off so be sure that if you if it's imperative that you have one certain spot of the block you do pick point we're going to go ahead and hit ok now whenever we insert the block you can come up to insert drop that down and there's our house named house and it's going to have that insertion point of that bottom corner because that's where we chose now you can also do if you'll look back at what's new in 2020 they added the blocks palette in and looky there it's inside of your block palette for this drawing and also the first one that you used uh, control shift copy or control shift C to create it's you this is it it's got that weird AutoCAD generated block name where the one that you created house is right here and you can scale rotate repeat placement explode on placement all kinds of good stuff with it with uh, the blocks palette let's just go ahead place it again let's do repeat placement for the house 
and the cool thing about the uh, block editor is so we've got that little neighborhood right there hit OK select those Look at that. They all change together. Now, whenever you put them in, whenever you put a block into a drawing, it's not set in stone as that. You can change it still by uh, exploding. You just select it, hit X, enter, and now this one is reverted back to its individual lines. And if you have like small changes that you need to make to a drawing or to or to a block. You can do that and then and then you've got your block back. Um, that's about all that I've got on blocks today. I know this is kind of a quick video, but there's not a whole lot to do with blocks. There's some more advanced things that I'm going to show you in the next couple of videos. But as of right now, just the beginning basics of blocks. Well, guys, that's about all I've got today for blocks. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon right next to it. It really helps me out. If you didn't like the video, you can hit that dislike button. But please just drop down in the comments and let me know what you didn't like or what you think I should do differently. Um, if you have a different way of, that you like to use blocks, leave that down in the comment. I'd like to see all the different uses that you use blocks for. And as always, guys, y'all have a nice day.